American Family News. I'm Rusty Pugh. Severe storms taking place in Kentucky, where Governor Andy Beshear declared a state of emergency as multiple EF1 tornadoes have been confirmed south of Louisville. John Gordon at the National Weather Service. It did skip down there on Han Ridge Road. This is very typical, a lot of roof damage, a lot of tree damage, twisting and turning of the debris. There are no reports of injuries. It's pretty much certain that it will be President Biden against former President Trump in November. But there were more primaries Tuesday night. Ted Linder with more. Both President Biden and former President Donald Trump secured victories in the Rhode Island, New York, Connecticut, and Wisconsin primaries Tuesday. Even though both candidates have already clinched their party's presidential nominations, President Biden has faced opposition from activists encouraging Democrats to vote against him to send a message of disapproval for his handling of the war between Israel and Hamas. And some Republican Trump critics are still voting for rivals who have since dropped out. The general election on November 5th, still seven months away. Ted Lindner, Fox News. Donald Trump spoke in Michigan and Wisconsin Tuesday to continue railing against what he calls Biden's border bloodbath. Before holding a rally in Wisconsin, former President Trump highlighted the murder of 25-year-old Ruby Garcia in Michigan. The suspect in her killing is an illegal immigrant deported in 2020 after being brought here illegally as a child, only to return again. The former president said he's adding Ruby to the list of people he wants justice for after Georgia nursing student Lakin Riley, blaming migrant-related crimes on President Biden. It's wrecking our civilization. It's destroying our country. On day one, I will seal the border and we'll begin the largest domestic deportation operation in the history of our country. Ahead of the former president's remarks, the White House spokeswoman said we're hearing awful rhetoric from the other side and she blamed Republicans for failing to pass border legislation. Jessica Rosenthal, Fox News. Michigan Congressman John James says he believes every state has become a border state because of Biden's policies and says the people in his state are already feeling the negative effects. We just found 41 kilos of fentanyl. Uh, in southeast Michigan today. Today, that's enough to kill 10.3 million people in the entire state of Michigan. And, uh, and we're losing beautiful souls. Engineers are describing in detail the challenges they face in removing what remains of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. More from Gurnall Scott. While there are cranes that can move what's left of the key bridge, the pieces to move are collapsed on themselves. Some people use the term pancaked. That's how Army Corps of Engineers Colonel S.D. Pinchason puts it. 3D imaging shows the wreckage isn't just resting on the river floor. It's actually below the mud line. That makes it very difficult to know where to cut, how to cut. And most importantly, how to move those pieces, because the only way to get to the goal of building a new bridge is to move what's left of the fallen one. Gernal Scott, Fox News. A Wisconsin state legislator is disgusted by her governor's veto of a bill that would bar males from female sports. Chris Woodward has more. The Save Women Sports Act sought to bar males from female sports at the K-12 level. Republican Representative Barb Dietrich said she introduced the measure after the father of a female athlete contacted Dietrich to express concern about males and female sports. He said he had heard of this happening across the nation and what was I going to do to protect his daughter in athletics? I thought that was a fair question, and that's when I first drafted the legislation. Pointing to the veto, Dietrich said Governor Tony Evers stands against 70 percent of Wisconsin voters who believe people should compete in the category of their biological sex. And frankly, he goes against uh, federal Title IX, which protects women and has since the 1970s. A veto override is not expected. Dietrich said Republicans do not have the two-thirds majority in the state assembly to achieve a veto override. And Democrats sadly will not stand up for women and go against their own governor. I'm Chris Woodward. Global shares mostly declined Wednesday after Wall Street broke its record-breaking bull run with its worst day in weeks. More news online at AFN.net and on the AFN mobile app. I'm Rusty Pete.